Hello, it's me, Ricky, and of course, welcome back for another Freaky Deaky reaction. We're going to go over to Mind Junkie, and he is released for about five days ago. Seven scary, scary ghost videos you've never seen. He said never, and we're going to hold that against him because we've seen a bunch, and we will continue seeing a bunch. If you haven't checked out Mind Junkie before, go ahead and check out my description. You find the link for the video we're going to watch, and of course, for the channel. Go there and give them support that they so much deserve. However, if you do enjoy the freaky deakiness of Reki, let me know by smacking the like. And of course, if you're new to the channel, this is Reki, you hitting that subscribe. Greatly appreciate that. Uh, a big thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon and channel membership. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A big shout out to the Supreme Tier Donators, both on Patreon and, of course, on channel membership. Ultimate supporters goes to the Deja, Walt, Dwayne, Robert, Matt, Barbara, Kathy, Sarah, and Terry. Right there. Amazing list. Click join and become a member. Check out the coolest link pinned up. All the, all the comments. I just lost my tongue there. All right. So this one I'm going to watch is about 20 minutes long, and they claim we've never seen it before. Is that a dare? It could be. Let's find out. 20 minutes long. I'm going to move over here so you can see my delightful face freaking the hell out. The first clip in this week's video was uploaded by the YouTube channel Scream Freak 79, who Scream titled Freak. it Real Ghost Caught on Tape. Mike, a ghost hunter and the owner of the channel, recorded this clip with his friend Sam when the two of them went to a secluded spot in a forest that is rumored to be incredibly haunted. Mike and Sam set up their equipment in an attempt to communicate with any spirits that may reside in the area. And it doesn't take long before their static night vision camera captures something. Wait a minute. All right, so I don't understand. What are they seeing? Are they seeing what we're seeing on the static camera? Or because the guy on the right just goes like he was, like he's drunk, to go right in the, the bush, then he just turns left. Very odd, very odd, very, very, very peculiar. Uh, They're asking a few questions. Mike behavior. and Sam hear noises coming from somewhere in the darkness nearby. And then something transparent appears. It quickly moves from right to left and the pair give chase, but they don't find anything. After uploading this video to the... So the basically with that the, the entity is moving across the road. The guy on the left actually goes after it, meaning that he claimed... Uh, He's seeing something, but the guy on the right goes like he is completely shit-faced drunk into the bush, and and he moves in a way that he is. I don't. I don't. I don't. And I'm. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm being bunking this as bullcrap, and I don't know why. It just feels very odd. Internet entitling it "Real Ghost Caught on Tape." YouTube viewers believe this to be true, but what do you think? Did Ghost Hunter Mike and his friend Sam capture a real ghost on tape? As the video's title suggests, let me know down below. First one I call bullshit. Saying it, saying it, I'm saying it. There it, there it is. Japanese ghost hunters Maro and Acha from the YouTube channel Danger Patrol uploaded this creepy video in November 2023. In the footage you're about to see, Maro and Acha explore the infamous Akazuki Tunnel in Fukuoka, southern Japan. The tunnel is infamously haunted and sightings of ghosts are common here. According to Maro, the last time he came here, he encountered terrifying paranormal activity. While exploring the tunnel at night, all alone, something he couldn't see grabbed him from behind with force, but when he turned around, he couldn't see anyone or anything there. Knowing the tunnel is haunted and wanting to reinvestigate it, Maro returns this time with Acha in the hopes 
to capture more evidence than what they capture gave them nightmares they would never forget. Okay, waits in the car while Asha. Okay, Maro waits in the car while Akasha solo investigates the tunnel. The, 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 the girl. That scared me. I'm good. I'm good. Music stop. ちょっと走ってきた。走。ちょっとなんか見えたかもしれんじ。そう。見えた。なんかわからんけど、なんか今一瞬なんか。I just I just had a gush of really cold wind and it's only on my right side now. I felt it going past me, then it actually normal. It's actually a bit colder on my right side. <laughs> disregard, Rocky. Disregard. Continue watching. Suddenly, Acha comes running out of the tunnel. When she reaches the car, she tells Maro that she saw something through the camera. The two of them quickly check the footage, and what they find is absolutely horrifying. So, uh, one thing I have a question about when it comes to Japanese videos that they always are, it's, it's always feet. There's always feet and very, very weird faces. But there's always feet. Weird, isn't it? It's like a fetish. A ghost foot feet fetish. Did you see it? The feet of someone or something can be seen standing right next to Acha. But at the time, Acha was completely alone in the tunnel. So, just who or what? Do these feet belong to? Share your thoughts in the comments. Uh, I don't really. I'm gonna be. I know I'm. I'm, I'm gonna get. I don't want to say this, but most of the Japanese uh, ghost videos uh, is always like they're. Hmm. It's a bit too good to be true. But um, the second one, no. I'm. I'm calling bullshit. I'm. I'm debunking it as bullshit because it's too good to be true. I want to get scared though. This next clip, which was posted to Facebook, has racked up thousands of views and really kicked up a debate. It was uploaded by a person named Ahmed Shah, but the original source is unknown. The video shows a group of friends driving late at night with the camera recording the passengers in the back. And at first, it seems just like a normal video. However, eagle eyed viewers notice something pretty creepy in the video. Watch closely. What looks like a face with glowing eyes appears in the window and stares in before fading away. What? I, of course, it's a it's a it's it's shaped as a face, 
but it could easily be like his face, the light, the the window, the mirroring, the effects, uh, reflections. Away, like it was never there. Facebook users say that this is the face of a ghost, and some point out that it would be impossible for anyone to keep up with the speed of the car. But what? No, because that would be weird. But I don't think it's a uh, third video. I'm, I'm I'm debunking it as bullshit, man. Do you think of this clip? Is it the face of a ghost, or is there? Another Roll. explanation. Reflection. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Yep, on reflection. You just spot it. This next clip comes from the urban exploration channel, The Explorer Returns. In the video, Connor sets out on a solo exploration of an abandoned mansion in the dead of night. Connor Man, hears strange man. noises and begins to feel a bit creeped out. Despite this, he presses on, continuing his exploration of the abandoned building. He reaches a ground floor area and takes some time exploring it. However, as he's climbing up the stairs, he hears something behind him. I want one To be fair, the building's full of water. I'm not surprised I'm hearing. Did you spot it? Yeah. Well, at the time, Connor didn't. If you look to the right of the screen, Connor's camera captures a mysterious dark figure lurking in a room to the right just feet away from him Holy but he doesn't see it shit. and makes his way upstairs and then this happens Noises creep Connor the f out. Oh the one my. particular sound sends him fleeing in absolute fear. The sounds of someone coming right for him. Connor's viewers were creeped out by his solo exploration of this abandoned building, with many praising his bravery. Some suggest that he may have encountered a homeless person living there, but some say he caught paranormal activity on camera. But what do you think? It's a. Uh, I'm gonna be. Know. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Those are the videos that actually gets me the the most shivers because the balls on this guy. I mean, how can he carry around the balls because they're freaking huge? Uh, when he said, "I can't move. I'm frozen." For me, that's a uh, it's just a genuine token of complete and utter fear because he cannot move. And then he when he starts running, when he can't uh, uh, find the exit because he gets disoriented because of the fear actually gives me the shivers but I, uh that's come insane i can still feel them on my especially my arms and my neck uh completely amazing video for paranormal it could be definitely uh there was knockings and bangs which normally is what i consider to be one of the most used ways for the uh, for the paranormal to uh actually interact We've just launched our YouTube membership program and I'm excited to invite you to become a part of it. By joining, you'll get access to members only content, priority replies from us in the comments, loyalty badges next to your name and much more. Plus, you'll be supporting the channel directly, which helps us to keep creating the content you love to watch. To support us, just hit the join button below this video. It's that simple. Whether you decide to join or not, I'm grateful for your support. And if you're not ready to join yet, but love watching scary videos, then please, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you never miss a scary video. This is a great channel, by the way. And if you haven't clicked uh, subscribe on Mind Junkie yet, please do. You find the link in the description. 
for the channel. Go there and give him the support that he so much deserves. That shit breaking hell. This next entry was posted to Reddit by a user named Crazy Paranormal. It's Crazy. a photo captured by a security guard during his night shift at the district attorney's office in Mexico City. Working the night shift, the guard had got used to the usual shadows and strange sounds that come with an empty building after the sun goes down. But on this particular night, something felt different. He couldn't shake the feeling that he wasn't alone. A few times, he thought he saw someone in the corner of his eye, but every time he looked, there was no one there. The next time he felt a presence, he quickly grabbed his phone and started snapping pictures, aware that cameras often capture things our eyes can't see. And in one of the photos, he caught something which left him spooked. A transparent figure of what looks like a child can be seen standing at the opposite end of the area where the security guard was. Apparently, at the time this photo was snapped, whoever this was, was invisible to the naked eye, leading Redditors and people who've seen this photo to believe that the security guard caught a ghost on camera. Holy crap, that is a really good picture. It is terrifying. I cannot debunk this. Wow, goosebumps, here we go. Wow, look at that. Baby ghost, ghost baby, right there, people. But what do you think? Is this a ghost? Use the comments to share your thoughts. This next video was uploaded to the internet by a user named Jay Love, who recently installed a home security camera after feeling scared not long after someone had broken into her apartment. One evening, Jay and her sisters drive back to Jay's apartment, but Jay decides to wait in the car outside while her sisters go inside for a brief moment, and the security camera captures the moment they enter, but also something which Jay can't explain. Yeah, there we go. What's up? Wait a minute. Something appears behind the door. Seen this one before. Lingering for a moment before it vanishes. Her sisters don't notice anything at the time, and it's only when Jay looked at the footage to check on her sisters did she realize what the camera had caught. I think I, last time we saw this one, I actually debunked this as a very weird thing. It's just like a flash thing. It's just like there. It's not like it's not disappearing like this. It just goes away. After uploading this video to her social media page, viewers were creeped out. But what do you think about this clip? Yeah. Let me know. It's not giving any shivers down my spine, if you know what I mean. No, no shivers going on here, buddy. No, no, no. Oh, so. The final clips for this week were captured at different OXO stores in different parts of Mexico. Now, originally, I had planned to include six different clips, but decided on just three instead, as these are the most creepy. However, just a search on TikTok for Oxo Phantasma, aka Ghost, brings up a ton of results. And what's weird is that each video is taken at different Oxo stores by different people who have no connection to one another. According to Wikipedia, Oxo has over 21,000 stores and gas stations or petrol stations. So he's saying like OXO stores are uh, like uh, haunted? Stations if you're in England like me, spread out across Latin America. This first clip is taken from the account Darshak, who says that he has encountered unexplainable things at the store he works at. Apparently, while working alone through the night, he's heard disembodied voices in his ear, witnessed items moving on their own, and even seen an apparition in the corner of his eye. That, he says, disappeared when he turned and looked. One night, while Darshak is working late, he decides to film his nightly routine to show his girlfriend, who, for some reason, doesn't believe he's at work. But what he didn't expect was to capture something creepy. Oh my god, this... I don't believe you're at work, you need to film it. <laughs> you gotta look. ...in the video. 
Oh, I've got a motorbike. Cool. Freezer. To the hell? What in the royal? As Darshak films his routine in the back, something dark can be seen moving in the store. Darshak sees it and rushes to check, but whatever it was has mysteriously disappeared. And apparently, this happened in the middle of the night while the store. I'm never going to buy anything at OXO stores because they're most certainly all haunted. All was closed and service was limited through a window. In this next clip, which was captured at a different store, hundreds of miles away from Darshak's, a pair of OXO employees working the night shift witnessed something strange. What happened? What happened? don't know. Nos vamos acercando a la cámara. Jorgito. Jorgito es uno de mis compañeros de aquí de trabajo. ¿Qué pasó, hijo? ¿Qué se cayó? Vean, vean, vean. Vean. Ahí, ahí ya empezaron a abrirse. Vean, observen. Híjole. Vamos a tratar de no acercarnos, Jorgito, porque... Vean, vean cómo se están abriendo las puertas. Vamos a ver qué es Ahí se ve cómo se están abriendo y cerrando. Toda la tarde he estado pasando esto y inclusive ya, inclusive ya hay gente que se dio cuenta de clientes. Y este, híjole. La verdad sí es un poco temeroso. Ya le hablé a mi supervisor para que... Mira, vean, vean, ya le hablé a mi supervisor para que observara, viniera a ver esto que está pasando. No me cree, pero digo... We can't... We, now we can see that no one is actually in front opening them up. And they close and open at exactly the same speed, meaning that someone... If a human did that, we would actually see because there's no way a human can open in the exact same way every time. So I thought maybe there's someone inside pushing it, but we can clearly see through the shelves that there is no one there. Quedó de venir, hasta ahorita no ha venido. Right. Y este, no nos hemos atrevido a ir a la parte de atrás en la cámara porque pues nos da un poco de temor, ¿no? Porque pues esto es algo sobrenatural. But I think it's something in the, in the front. Pero vamos, Jorgito, allá atrás a ver qué pasa. Vean. Yeah, let's send Jorjito to actually go check it out so Jorjito can get the, uh, get, give him the camera, ma'am. Wow. Nos vamos, vamos a arriesgarnos a ir. Este. Vamos a arriesgarnos porque, a ver qué pasa. Esta es la parte de la entrada de la cámara. Vamos a, vamos a ver qué pasa. O sea, ahora sí que... Acá, dijo, no sé si ayer... Jorjito, ve a ver, hijo. Ven a mí, a ver. Acá, ¿Esto? Sí. The two OXO employees watch with fright and confusion as the doors to the drink's fridge slowly open and close on that. their Can't own. And what makes weird. this unlikely to be fake is that if you have ever tried to open one of these drink's fridge doors, you know you sometimes have to pull it quite hard. This is due to two things. One, it's usually caused by air pressure difference between the inside and outside of the fridge. And when you open the door, warm air from the outside rushes in and cools down quickly, creating a slight vacuum effect that makes the door harder to open until 
the pressure equalises. Or two, commercial fridges like the ones in almost every store have strong seals to keep cold air from escaping, helping to maintain temperature and energy efficiency. This seal also contributes to the resistance when someone pulls the fridge door open. So yeah, given how tough these doors are to open, it's unlikely. And unlikely because they're open in the exact same way, exact same speed uh, as it opens and exact the same speed as it closes. So meaning that something is opening, it then releases it so it can close by itself in a very, very distinct kind of way. That what we're seeing here is someone pulling it with string. In this third clip, again, taken at a different OXO store in a completely different part of Mexico, a user who was working the night shift had just finished mopping the floors when he heard the sounds of bare feet patting on the store's wet floor. Confused, as no one else is meant to be in the store, he becomes a little creeped out. Yeah. Nevertheless, he checks the area where the footsteps were heard, and what he sees, well, creeped him out even more. Pensé que era puro pedo que anda una niña. Oh, niña. No me la van a creer, pero... Get the hell out, dude. Watchen. Si son cuerdas para distinguirlas, son unas patitas. Ay, bueno, se va su mamón, verga. Tiny little footprints appear on the wet floor, but bizarrely, they seem to appear as the store worker records the video. Now, what makes these incidents even more unsettling is that these aren't isolated events. Across Mexico, many OXO employees have reported strange, unexplainable occurrences too. And like I said, just a search online reveals hundreds of clips taken by different employees at different store locations. With over 21,000 OXO stores across Latin America, it makes you wonder, are these stories somehow prone to the supernatural? Or is there something else at play here? I'll leave the decision in your hands. Not a half bad episode, definitely not. I kind of, I can actually, uh, I actually did enjoy that. Uh, I think I've seen a couple of more of the OXO uh, stores before. Love that, love it. And of course, ah, tiny feet, tiny feet, just, they were actually freaking me the hell out. Uh, the one in the abandoned mansion, as they call it, but it looks more like a, just a normal building. Uh, and that was terrifying because when he said, I'm frozen, meaning that he is completely frozen in fear, uh, which is, <laughs> makes that whole story in that video 100% more freaky dicky, if you know what I mean. Let me know what, which one you thought was the creepiest one, or let me know if you didn't, you know, Hi, Recky. I do believe that the, the first one, I actually debunked that is bullshit, too. I love reading those, so please do that. And, of course, if you did enjoy, don't forget to smack the like and that subscribe. Well, that, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Recky. You. Stay safe.